you always wondered what this weird little attachment is for your blow dryer, well, it is a diffuser and I'm about to show you how to use it to get amazing curls just like this. Welcome to The Real Ray with me, Ray. If you are new here or have just forgotten, I'm Ray, your super silly, fun, hairstylist, cosmetologist, beautician, therapist, whatever you wanna call me, that's me. Hope y'all enjoy learning how to diffuse your hair. Make sure to leave some comments about how you're feeling about it. Also, don't forget I have several other curl videos out now. We've got the plop technique, which is how I got started for this look. So if you need to know about that and how to apply products once you get out of the shower, just scoot on over and watch that video. And products I used today, I did try out something new. So let me grab it and I'll be right back. In preparation for this video, I used a whole bunch of products. Uh, I started with my, woo, that's the wrong one. Let's try that again. I've got a arm full of products. So I started with my tonic primer, which I use almost every time I go to dry my hair. Some sort of primer, sometimes I use invisible oil, but that is by Bumble and Bumble, and that goes all over. And then this is what I was saying I use that's new. It's a bit by Aveda, and so we're using it in the salon, so I wanted to try it on my hair. And it is Botanical Repair Strengthening Leave-In Treatment. I used about a quarter size and just scrunched it in. After that, I used Bum on Bumble's Thickening Hairspray. It goes on wet and it gives hold and heat protection. The Bumble on Bumble All Style Blow Dry at my roots only. This you have to use heat for to do anything, but it's super cool and turns from a cream to a powder, which helps with oiliness. And when I wear my hair curly, I feel like I look oilier faster. And then I use the Sebastian Potion number nine again, which I used in the plot video. So if you haven't watched it, make sure you do that so you know how to prep your hair appropriately to diffuse it. Make sure and stay till the end of the video so you can see the finishing touches, which I think are almost as important as the technique itself. And as always, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, share with your friends and family, help a girl grow her YouTube channel, please, please. <laughs> All right, y'all, I will uh, stop talking so you can get to the real content and I will see you soon. A couple of things to notice as I'm drying is what I'm doing with the diffuser is I'm actually putting my hair in it and then putting it all the way up to my scalp and then turning it on. And I'll let it dry for a couple minutes and then turn it off before removing it from my hair. So what that does is keeps the curl pattern as intact as possible. So you're gonna get less frizz and making sure and putting it all the way up to the scalp, it's gonna get you as much volume as possible. All right, y'all, I filmed in several different angles, so I hope y'all enjoy and can like get a good idea of how I do my diffusing. Let me know in the comments below how you felt about it, and I'll let you watch.
Okay, so now that my hair is mostly dry and at the end what you saw me doing was going through and hitting the cool setting, um, it's my favorite time, which is product time. Product time! So as you can see, like this part of my hair, I think like when it did its pre-plop dry, kind of dried flat, so it's wanting to lay right in my face, which I am not into. So I'm going to get some texture spray today the dry spun finish and kind of just add a little bit more texture spray right at my root in general my hair is so fine it tends to get a little flatter than I want it to so I'm okay with having a little frizz at my root to have a little bit more volume Okay, so while that is drying, we're gonna get my other favorite product, Loma Oil. It's Loma Nourishing Oil, the brand is Loma. So I just did one pump and always rub an oil or a cream in your hands first and then just kind of like go back to the scrunching and scrunch it into your hair to break up some of those curls and make them look a little softer and happier. This is my diffuse dried curly hair. Spin around, hopefully y'all can see the back and hopefully the back looks good since I haven't even looked at it yet. So. What do you think? All right, so let me know if this is how you've been diffusing or if you've never diffused and you're gonna go and try this. Let me know how it turns out in the comments below if you haven't already subscribed please make sure and do that and hit that little bell so that you are notified when i put out new content which right now is every monday wednesday friday monday and fridays for hair videos and then wednesdays for whimsical wednesday and just for a quick throwback i'm wearing this shirt for the second time i guess in a couple weeks because uh, I'm obsessed with it. I made it for my Captain Planet video. So if you missed that, scoot on over and go watch it. All right, y'all, make sure and hit the like button if you learned something. And I will talk to you soon. Thank you so much for watching and supporting me. I just really appreciate you. And keep me posted on what sort of things you want to learn. All right, it's the real ring. <laughs> Bye.